Hello, football family. Welcome into Huddle It Up Films NFL Draft Snapshot here with BYU receiver Puka Nakua. Puka Nakua is somebody that I like better than a lot of draft analysts. You can see his size down below, 6'2", 201, did not run at the combine, and speed is what is going to scare a lot of scouts off, a lot of teams off on Puka Nakua, but there is a lot to love about this prospect. Let's take a look at the snapshot. First thing that sticks out to me is he's a crafty route runner and he's able to leverage his opponents. He can get bumped. He's not a twitchy guy. Uh, he's more of an upright runner. But when you watch Puka Nakua, he understands how to leverage his defender. He's a monster at the catch point. He finds ways to finish. And he's able to run routes, the whole route tree. So you're talking about comebacks, curls, digs. They used him on jet sweeps, bubble screens. Uh, every route you can imagine, he is a polished route runner one of the better route runners in the draft, despite his lack of twitch. Uh, so he doesn't get a ton of separation, but he's able to leverage his opponents really, really well. Another thing that really sticks out on tape is his competitiveness, and it comes in all phases of the game. So when you're talking about jump balls, contested catches, uh, he is extremely competitive. The hand fighting, the body positioning, extremely competitive. And when the ball is in his hands, you can see a nose for the goal line, a nose for the first down marker, an extremely competitive player, and at his size, over 200 pounds, that makes a difference. Um, some receivers, good at yak. Puka Nakua is a grinder. He is going to find a way to get every yard, and like I said, has a nose for where he needs to be and how he needs to get there. Impressive finding ways to finish is another thing that comes up when you're talking about the shots that they take with him downfield. He's covered. Uh, there's no doubt about it, but whether it's a safety on the college level or a corner, or maybe even two guys, he is going to be able to establish his position like a power forward, box out defenders, body them without it being interference, and finish on these plays. Just an impressive uh, finisher all the way around when it comes to running the ball and when it comes to catching the ball. You check out his highlights, you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, why is he so low on the board? It's lack of both speed and twitch. So he's not a, a twitchy guy. He's not a quick guy. He's not a fast guy. He did not run at the combine. And when you see on tape, when someone someone's like, okay, uh, is their speed good enough for the NFL? And you like, you doubt the speed, and then they don't run at the combine, that's a red flag to me. That tells me that whatever time he would have ran would have been below a lot of team standards to keep him off the draft board. So he did not run. So lack of both speed and twitch will show up when you watch Puka Nakua. Uh, you know, a lot of receivers in this draft of course, are faster than him. But again, it's 6'2". You know, a lot of tight ends are 6'4", 6'5". He has the ability to jump. Uh, I don't worry about him from a size standpoint. Um, mentioned earlier, he was used on jet sweeps, bubble screens. He has a decent release at the line of scrimmage. So when he is lined up at X, uh, he can shake you a little bit at the line of scrimmage and power through you. He'll get stalled, but eventually he gets there. He finds a way to get to his spot. And if there's not a spot there, he will make one. Very trustworthy target for the quarterback. Overall, for me, he's wide receiver 20. I have him as a third-day pick, day three pick. Maybe the fifth round is what I'll take a guess, sixth round. A lot of people don't have them on his, have him on their board. I do. Again, check out the link in the description to my big board. We're going to track all the prospects doing these NFL snapshots. Football is family. Thank you. See you next time.